Welcome to the VRF Wizard. We are going to cover VRF heat recovery systems, two pipe, three pipe systems, single port and multi port branch selector boxes. Using a VRF heat recovery system allows you to provide simultaneous cooling and heating. This means that one zone can be in cooling while another is in heating. This is not possible with a VRF heat pump system. This is accomplished with the addition of these branch selector boxes. The branch selector box is located between the outdoor unit and the indoor units. Each VRF manufacturer uses a different name to describe this box. Daikin calls theirs the branch selector box and that's the term we use throughout this article and video. Other manufacturers like Mitsubishi will call theirs the BC controller, branch circuit controller. Toshiba will call theirs the flow selector unit. Fujitsu will call theirs the refrigerant branch unit. Hitachi will call it a changeover box. So each manufacturer calls it something different. The VRF single port and then you have a multi-port box. The easiest way to think of a branch port is that each port is a zone or area that has a similar heating and cooling load profile. If you're familiar with a VAV system, then each port is similar to a VAV zone box, except that we are using refrigerant at the zone level instead of cooled air from an air handler. A VRF single port branch selector box gives you one zone where you can attach either a single indoor unit or actually you can attach multiple indoor units to this one branch selector box but they will all be in cooling or heating because the single port out of each single port you can only get heating or cooling that's why this single port can have heating while this single port has cooling but if you have multiple rooms that are both gonna have the same load profile then you can bring them out of one box so each manufacturer provides differing quantities of ports on their multi-port boxes so on a multi-port box which is shown here this one happens to be a three port so as you can see there's one two three so each set of pipes is considered a port. So each one of these ports can either be in cooling or heating. So this one's in cooling, this one's in heating, and this one is in cooling. So the, each zone will have its own thermostat calling on either heating or cooling. So each port can serve a manufacturer defined quantity of indoor units. So they're all going to tell you out of this port you can only serve so many indoor units. Also each branch selector box or each port, let's start with the ports, uh, the ports have a maximum capacity that you can get out of there. So some of the manufacturers say the most you can get out of this one port is 54,000 BTUs. So if you have a zone that is larger than that then you can combine two ports together and feed that zone or you can put multiple indoor units off of several ports to feed that one large room and they'll even though they come off of different ports they can both be cooling at the same time you just have a larger zone and then also the branch selector box itself has a maximum BTUs that it can output. So you have the ports that have a maximum output and you have the total box which has a maximum output. So the other thing you want to look at is this two pipe versus three pipe which you'll hear a lot with the VRF manufacturers. One saying one's better than the other. So each VRF manufacturer will say that their system is better than the competition. A two pipe system, which is shown here, has two pipes running between the 
branch selector box and the outdoor unit. But what they don't tell you when they're marketing their two pipe system and its advantages is that it has a third pipe that is not a refrigerant pipe but a drain pipe. This branch selector box will need a drain which in a three pipe system as is shown here the branch selector boxes do not need a drain pipe. So the difference between the two pipe and the three pipe is the advantage can be for the two pipe that you have one less refrigerant pipe which of course is going to be more expensive per linea foot to run than a drain pipe so you have that little advantage but if you put the outdoor unit as close as you can to the branch selector boxes then that advantage is minimized and depending on how you lay out the piping which we show on our website different layouts at www.vrfwizard.com you can find some different layouts for two pipe and three pipe systems and how to optimize the layout so to recap the advantage of the VRF heat recovery system is that it allows heating and cooling at the same time. You can't accomplish that with a VRF heat pump system, which you can have multiple zones on the heat pump system, but they will all either be cooling or heating. That's the difference between the VRF heat recovery and the VRF heat pump. In the heat recovery, you're going to have these selector boxes, which is your traffic cop, deciding whether to give you cooling or to give you heating. So if you want to see a VRF manufacturer comparison where we lay out each of the VRF manufacturers and their capabilities as to how much BTUs you can get out of one selector box, the maximum ports they have on their selector boxes, and a whole bunch of other information, go to www.vrfwizard.com.